Hey y'all, welcome back to another day of Vlogmas. Sorry for the weird angle, but I'm gonna attempt another quick get ready with me. So I'm gonna do a really natural quick look today. And I thought this would be better here so y'all could actually see what I'm doing because when I did it the other day, I had my normal camera and to be honest, I am just lazy and I have my tripod set up to do like my endings and to open the calendar and all of that. So I don't really want to put it down to put it here in front of me. So I'm using my other camera because it is on a shorter tripod. Once again, I'm just lazy. So I'm doing something just really quick easy and natural today and lately sometimes I will just do concealer like underneath my eyes and then as you can see I do have a little bit of redness on my cheeks and on my chin so I will just put the concealer there but lately I have been doing this Charlotte Tilbury Light Wonder Foundation which it is very very light coverage. It is like a sheer to light coverage. I actually think I might need a little bit lighter now, but I think it's fine. So this isn't going to give a whole lot of coverage. It, a whole lot of coverage, coverage. It is just going to even everything out and it is going to tone down that redness. I cannot talk today so you can see how you still see it a little bit but it's not as bad as this side which that doesn't really bother me because whenever I do my concealer I'll kind of bring it down to cover it up a little bit more but this is just a super natural look and this also does have an SPF of 15 but I absolutely love this foundation. I feel like it's more of a tinted moisturizer than like a foundation but I really love it especially on days like today but I actually have a first impression a first impressions slash review on this foundation if you want like a more in-depth review on it, I will link it down below in the description box if y'all want to check it out next. So far, there is nothing by Charlotte Tilbury that I haven't liked. And then I'm using the Charlotte Tilbury under eye corrector, but you use a under eye corrector to correct and counteract darkness where concealer just kind of covers it up, if that makes sense. So I don't know if y'all can tell it has like a peachy tone to it. And you can already tell a difference in like the darkness. I was looking for a concealer brush that I had, but I don't know what I did with it. So now I'm using the original Shape Tape. So I normally use a sponge for my under eyes. But I thought I would try a brush today. I'm trying to think at who I saw. I was like, you know what? I'm going to try a brush again. But I don't think I like it. But I am a creature of habit. So it is so hard for me to change up my routine. I don't know. I like this brush. It's a Morphe. It's the M173. So I like that brush, but ugh, I don't know. For my concealer, since I do have lines underneath my eyes, I kind of like the concealer because it picks up any of the, the concealer. I like the sponge because it picks up any extra product where it's not just sitting under my eyes because that's when it starts settling. So I did set everything with a translucent loose setting powder and then I just went in with the Hourglass Ambient Lighting Powder in the shade Luminous Light to give more of like a glow back since I did set that luminous foundation. And since this is just a really easy simple look, 
I'm just using this dirty big fluffy brush to contour with. And then I'm taking it up a little bit higher to kind of do like, do it as bl my blush as well. The reason why I said contour is because it's not going to be like sharp, but I think I am going to go in with my smaller brush just to make it a little bit more. And then I always like to take a stippling brush to go over it to kind of blend it out a little bit. And then I'm going to do some highlighter. And I'm going to quickly do my brows. I'm doing something super, super, super simple. I'm first lining my lower waterline with a nude eyeliner. If I'm doing a natural look, and actually just in general lately, I have been doing the nude liner, but I like nude instead of a white in my lower waterline because I personally feel like white is a little bit too stark. It makes it look too bold, too bright, but I know a lot of people like white, so of course it's just personal preference, but I just like how the nude looks a little bit more natural. And it still has the same effect as white, if that makes sense. And so I am doing something just super quick and easy for my eyeshadow. And I'm just using bronzer. So I'm putting it like above my crease a little bit. And then I'm also dragging it down on my lid, kind of focusing on the outer corner. And then I always take a clean fluffy brush to buff out the edges, make sure they are nice and blended. And then using that same bronzer, I'm going to apply it to my lower lash line. And then if you are wanting to recreate this look, you can do this step or you can just do mascara and leave it alone, but I'm taking a different bronzer, one that's a little bit darker, and putting it in my crease. Just to give a little bit more definition, but once again, if you, if you want to do this look, you do not have to do this step. You can just do the one bronzer and call it a day. Also going to buff that out. And then I am going to go ahead and put a little highlight in my inner corner. It's the same one I used on my cheeks. And if you want, you could take it and put it on your eyelid. go ahead and do that once again that's a step you can skip if you want and then I'm gonna do mascara and then I will be done and here is my completed look I am gonna add some lip gloss but super quick super easy and now I think I'm going to run to Miller's bread again because they have loaded potato soup today so I'm gonna get that hopefully they still have some because it is a little later in the day it is 2 30 so hopefully they still have some if so, I'm going to get it in a bread bowl and I'll probably just bring it back home. So yeah, I will hopefully see y'all in town. Okay, so I'm back home from Miller's Bread and I got a oatmeal raisin and chocolate chip cookie. My plan was to only get the bread bowl with soup, but I saw those cookies and they looked really good and they did still have soup, obviously. And I had to get it in a bread bowl because I have been dying for one because I haven't had one yet. 
I did take some of the bread bowl on my husband's soup, but I got a load of potato. Ooh. And I am so dang excited because potato soup is my favorite. So I am going to eat this and not sure what I'm going to be doing next, but y'all know that I will take you along with me. Are y'all ready to open your calendar? You ready to open your calendar? Are you charging up on me? Are you charging up on me? I'm sorry, y'all have to listen to my dog mom voice every time we do the calendar, but it's part of it. Daisy, where are you going? What are you doing? Okay, it is day 13. Uh oh, that's a little one. <laughs> More circles. Daisy, a good baby. today so it might be over the little circles okay I can't tell if I'm in focus or not hopefully I am but I am going to finish up the tree I never finished it and I'm gonna hang our stockings up and then I don't know if y'all can see that basket of towels they were in the dryer for several days finally got them out because I had to do my laundry so I'm going to fold those next. Hopefully you can hear me. I didn't even think about it, but the dishwasher is going because I just did the dishes. So hopefully you can hear me, but I'm going to fish the tree and then do some laundry while watching Selling Sunset. take a break because the mail came and I thought I would show y'all what I got. They are pull-up assistance bands. <laughs> yes, I'm weak. No, I cannot do it pull-up by myself. And I do have one band and it's not quite strong enough for me these days. And this is a pack of six. So, Hopefully I can get back to doing pull-ups. Back whenever I worked out a lot, I could do a full set of 10 pull-ups without any type of band or assistance because I was doing three sets of 10 every day with a band. So I really wanted to get back to doing those every day so I can do them on my own. If y'all are interested in these, I will link them for y'all down below in the description box, but I will also put them on my Amazon storefront. I think I have talked about this before, but I do have an Amazon storefront and it has a bunch of different categories. So I have like fall outfits, which now it's almost winter gift guides. So a gift guide for her. So if you need any ideas for any last minute, I have not done any Christmas shopping, but if you need last minute gift ideas, and I do make a small commission if you shop from those links, but it is no additional charge to y'all. I just always like to disclose that um, just so it's, known and that way y'all don't think I'm trying to hide it or anything but it is no they don't charge y'all any more by using my link it just helps me out a little bit but enough about all that I'm going to get back to work on the tree I don't think I have ended a vlog sitting here with my vlog ending buddies in a couple days so I thought that I would go ahead and end it before I forgot 
but yeah finally have the tree 100% finished and I forgot to show y'all the top so I'll probably show y'all that tomorrow I found another pink tree that I normally put in my makeup room I put it on the piano I put our stockings up and then I actually decorated on top of our cabinets but looking at it from here I think it looks a little cluttered so I don't know if I will keep that stuff up there or not but before I ramble on anymore I'm gonna go ahead and end today's vlog I did ride my Peloton just in case you're wondering nobody probably was but just in case I did ride my Peloton. I haven't done my boxing class. I don't know if I'm gonna do it. I really want to because it's only 20 minutes and it is the last class for week one. There's five classes for week one and I've done four. So I might go ahead and do it later or do it now. I don't know, I can't decide. But I am going to go ahead and end today's vlog. So if y'all enjoyed it, please give it a thumbs up. And don't forget to subscribe to my channel so you don't miss the rest of Vlogmas. But that is it for today. And I will see y'all tomorrow.